All right, we're back day two working on the S4, uh, just working on the teardown. So before we go any further on the engine, what we're gonna do is actually hook the battery back up and pull the seats out. If I remember correctly, it's easiest if you can slide the power seats to the, I think like all the way back and then we can get to the bolts. So we'll do that before we pull the ECU just to make sure we can still get power to them. And then once they're out, we can clean them up and then continue working on the engine. So we fit a teensy bit of a snag, which is that we can't get the seats to move back. So we're trying to get the seats out. Um, and unfortunately, all of the electrical is just kind of freaking out in the car right now. We're literally getting all of the fault codes that there possibly could be. <laughs> and we got the windows rolled down. However, seat still will not move. I figured out how to get the seats to move. Uh, I couldn't get anything to work with power. I tried poking some wires that were supposed to go to the motor, just nothing. Then I realized that I could disassemble the, it's like an actuator rod that goes between the motor and the seat trucks. And it's basically this big kind of long spring covered in felt. So um, just by poking that into the drill, you can actuate the seat manually. So if you're ever in a bind, that's a great thing to know how to do. So now I can get to the bolts in the back and then pull this seat out. Got the driver's side seat out. That was quite an ordeal, but I think I know what I'm doing, so it should go a little faster next time. I got both the seats out. Um, my hands are just all cut up and bloody because there's just so much like broken glass inside the car. So you can see a little bit of the mold that's growing on the carpet, and that's why I wanted to get the seats out right away so we can get everything cleaned up and stop that from progressing any further. So the next really big thing we need to do is get the engine out. Um, the manual for this car basically says to drop the engine and the subframe and trans all together. I'm not really sure if I'm going to do it that way though because I don't have a lift and these special Audi tools to do that. I've been over here working in this bay. Zach got the seats out last night. So I've been working on cleaning them. These were pretty moldy and so I took some water, wiped them down, took some rubbing alcohol, wiped them down again, and the mold came right off, and they're looking quite nice. So those should be ready to plop into Zach's uh, wagon pretty soon. All right, we removed the uh, computer chastity belt. So next up, we can actually unplug the ECU. I don't know how to do it, so I'm gonna figure that out. All right, so I've always wanted to check out one of these, so we're gonna just give it a little. All right, I just lifted up the front of the car so I can start working on some of the stuff underneath. Um, all this water that's been sitting inside has just started peeing out the back end. Uh, must have unclogged one of the drain holes. And now the garage is soaked again, which is cool. But got this really high up so I can get all the uh, rest of the front end kind of disconnected. Feeling pretty good about all the wiring up top. Most of the plumbing is undone. So next up is going to be the bottom side and then we'll get out the engine hoist. Ran to AutoZone last night and got some pry tools. So I am going to attempt to use these to take off the interior of the doors. So let's see how this goes. All right, that piece. One piece. And then there's one kind of buried back in here. This one doesn't really like to come out the hole. So a little change of plan. Um, I decided I'm gonna try and drop the engine and subframe together. I'll probably go back and forth on that still another four or five times before I'm ready to do it. So in preparation, I'm undoing the pinch bolt, which luckily on this one is not stuck. We're back, um, still going at it. Just been working on disconnecting all the last remaining things to get the engine out. So I've got the exhaust out, I've got the drive shaft out. Um, Suspension is disconnected, so we undid the control arms up top and then the strut mount down below. Um, did the last few AC lines that go to the um, pump on the engine. 
all the electrical stuff is disconnected. Um, so pretty much at the point now where I just need to double check and make sure we got everything. And then I'm gonna hook up the engine hoist. We've got the floor jack underneath and then the transmission jack in the back. I'm gonna hook everything up and then start to undo subframe bolts and lower it all down as one giant system. So keep your fingers crossed that we disconnected everything we needed to and let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna let the subframe bolts out slowly and then drop the whole thing down, I guess. All right, so we were dropping the engine down. Everything seemed like it was going pretty well. And then we realized that the steering shaft is still attached. So I tried to take that off earlier. It was stuck, sprayed with some PV blaster, let it soak and completely forgot about it. So hopefully that's the only thing we missed, but now I've got to figure out how to get that detached while the engine is dangling. So I don't want to be underneath it, obviously. So we'll figure that out and then we should be able to drop it. So we have a series of dollies um, that we're using to hold up the trans and the exhaust. Came back out this morning and got the engine rolled out of the engine bay. It ended up being a really nice day. It's kind of sunny and not too cold. So we are pulling the seats from the Avant and we're gonna put in the uh, S4 seats. All right, we got the passenger seat out of the Avant. This is the S4 seat. I just swapped over this module. This is um, like the memory module and it supposedly has component protection. So I uh, just gotta get that plugged in and then we can try and put this in and see if it works. Let's see if the motor's working. Yep. Working? Yep. Awesome. That's great. That means we don't have to fix anything. Sweet. That makes things so much easier. Much easier going in yeah. than coming out, right? Yeah. Ta-da. You can't tell, but I'm sitting in the new seat. It's really nice. So let's see, do we have any codes? I'll have to do like a full bag comm scan, but it's not saying like airbag. Perfect. Right now, Zach is working on getting the wheel out of the S4 so that we can put it in the Avant. We ended up realizing that it'd be a lot easier to take the wheel off and do that swap before we take out the driver's side seat just because it's kind of a, a bit of a puzzle to get the driver's seat out with the wheel in. So since we're swapping it anyhow, we're gonna take this out now. Really don't enjoy all this airbag stuff. Here's the S4 wheel, just pulled it out. So I'll go do the same on the A4, and then we can swap the seats and then put this wheel in. Wheel is out. Much easier. The driver's side seat is in, and next up we're putting in the S4 wheel. We got the S4 seats into the front of the Avant. We also got the steering wheel in. Uh, these seats are super comfortable. They're really cool. Um, really glad we got this set. Um, it's gotten cold out, so we're probably not gonna do too much more outside. I got a bunch of faults when I started the car up. So there's a parking brake and a airbag sensor fault. So I'm gonna load up VAGCOM later today and see if I can just clear those. Hopefully that's all it needs. Hey, we're back. So yesterday we got um, the front seats and some interior into the wagon. 
and then it got kind of dark and cold out and we gave up for the day. So we pushed the engine back into the garage so it's kind of just mostly in place just to get it in, doors closed. Um, next up, I'm gonna be pulling out the subframe. I've got that mostly done and just got a couple more bolts to do, undo the connector for the sports diff, and then I'm gonna drop that down. Um, not entirely sure if it'll fit out between the car and the wall of the garage, so it might just have to stay at the back of the garage until the car's out, but I'll pull that now. There it is everybody, got the rear subframe out. So that's the sport diff in the center and then um, basically just there's four bolts on each corner. You drop those, I put a jack under each end and then lowered those down to release the compression on the spring. The spring pops out and then the whole thing is out the car. Um, it's really freaking heavy. This is basically a hernia waiting to happen. So I'm gonna put the jack under this corner try and get this dolly back centered and I can try and move it to somewhere somewhat useful but as we usually do with these projects I've completely run out of space already so I think I need to start putting some more stuff into the Avant just to clear out the other bay. Hey so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight uh, we got the subframe out that was actually pretty easy to do although it's really heavy so um, we got the engine out we've got seats into the Avant we have most of the interior stripped out of the X4 so what we're going to be working on next, um, we're probably going to keep stripping out the final details. We've got to take out the pedal box, we've got to take out the shifter mechanism, um, some wiring for the sports differential that goes onto the rear subframe. Um, and then we're going to be working on putting some of the final interior pieces like the door panels and the back seats into the Avant just to clear out space in the garage. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy what we're doing, follow along. Feel free to give us a thumbs up or subscribe. Share with your friends if you want more Avants in America. And we'll keep working on this and hopefully it'll get finished up pretty quickly.